Did you know that if you cook some rice and then put it in the refrigerator overnight, that it turns all of the starch in the rice into magical resistant starch and it won't raise your blood sugar and the carbs don't count? Yeah, let's talk about that. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and we're gonna do a little myth busting today. I actually made a video about this a couple of years ago. People out there are purporting that you can turn the starch in pasta, rice, potatoes into this magical thing called resistant starch, which won't raise your blood sugar, which doesn't really count as carbs, passes right through your system. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. There's a new research study I'm gonna tell you about in a second, but let me explain this. So people have written books, have made YouTube videos. Some of these YouTube videos have over 100,000 views. And these experts in the field are saying that if you cook potatoes or rice or pasta, and then you refrigerate this high carbohydrate junk food overnight, that some magical chemical reaction occurs in your refrigerator while you're sleeping. And it changes the starch, which is long sugar chains, into something called resistant starch, which purportedly does not raise your blood sugar, doesn't count as carbs, passes right through you, doesn't make diabetes worse. Now, you know, that's a cute hypothesis. That's a cute little myth. But the problem is, is there's real danger being done by this because there are many trusting diabetics, pre-diabetics, people with metabolic syndrome, with obesity, who believe this foolishness. And it's through no fault of their own. I mean, this person is putting themselves up as an expert on YouTube or or on Amazon with a book they've written. And people are like, thank God I can have my pasta or my potatoes or my rice. I love that stuff. And now I can magically render it a non-meaningful carbohydrate by putting it in the refrigerator overnight. There's already been quite a bit of research that's disproven this silly myth, but there's a new study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition where they actually did a controlled experiment with this. They're like, well, I don't know. I think starch is starch, and I don't think that even if you cool it down to absolute zero, I don't think that changes. But they did the experiment anyway, and I'm glad they did because a lot of people just don't know this truth. And they found in this research study that if you cooked rice and refrigerated it overnight, it in no way changed the glycemic activity of the rice. It in no way changed the way it was absorbed in your body or digested in your body. It didn't change a damn thing. Rice is rice. Potatoes are potatoes. Come on, guys. Starch is starch. Starch is long chains of sugars. It's going to break down into sugar regardless if you put it in the refrigerator or if you cool it with liquid nitrogen. It is still a starch which breaks down into sugar. Now, if you were one of the people who was fooled by this, Forgive yourself, we've all believed some foolishness we saw on television or the internet, but try to be more common sense in the future. Just because somebody says something that you really wanna believe, I can still have pasta. Don't just blindly believe that. You've gotta look into this. You've gotta think about the physiology and the chemistry behind it and think, is this, is this possible? Is this really true? And then always do a good internet search and look for any meaningful research. If you suffer from metabolic syndrome, pre-diabetes, type 1, type 2 diabetes, LADA, any of these things where eating too many carbohydrates is directly going to harm your health, resistant starch is not the answer. Starch is starch. Eat a low carbohydrate diet, eat lots of fatty meat and eggs, and you will improve your chronic medical condition or perhaps even reverse it. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.